Hi guys, welcome back to Sir Jacob's vlog. I've got a great show for you here this Tuesday. So let's jump right in. I have a lot of things to discuss with you. Starting off with some celebrity news, I would just like to congratulate Beyonce on literally slaying Coachella itself. Beyonce performed at Coachella this Saturday and she snatched everybody's weave and she did not make any apologies for it because she doesn't have to. We were gladly there to support her and her four explosive guests. Her first guest was her husband, Jay-Z. Their performance of Deja Vu together was incredible, and I love the chemistry they have together. Even though I don't necessarily like Jay-Z as a person, I think he's a dirty, dirty dog, and I don't know why Beyonce is still with him. Actually, I have a slight conspiracy theory about that. I am eerie to say this, but it's just conspiracy, so who cares? I think that Beyonce did something bad and Jay-Z is blackmailing her to stay with him. Let that sink in. She won that for a while. And then maybe you'll probably agree with me. Unclear what Beyonce would have done that could be so bad for him to blackmail her to stay with him even though he's a nasty person who looks like a fish. But it's fun to think about, is it not? Anyhow, moving on from the dirty cheater. Solange was amazing. I love her. She just speaks her mind and she is unapologetically Solange. I love that these sisters are together from womb to the tomb and they don't care. I just love them. But the most explosive performance of the night was by Destiny's Child. Oh my gosh, I just love them. My five-year-old self was just dying when I saw them together and uh, I could not be more grateful. They dominated the Coachella stage and it's gonna be very hard for anybody to come back from Beyonce's performance. Like, I feel bad for whoever is going to be in their shoes next year. Anyhow, on a related note, Mr. Knowles, Beyonce and Solange's father, was recently on the Wendy Williams show, and um, he was pretty boring. I, I don't really care for him, but my mom and I were just randomly watching Wendy Williams as we do every day that it is on, and we were done with Hot Topics, and Wendy was like, after the break, come back and see Mr. Knowles, Beyonce and Solange's father, on the couch. And I was like, what? I, they didn't advertise this at all, but I was here for it. And so we watched, and it was a good time, even though he was boring. But Wendy, oh, she is a shady one. She would, oh, she was prying so much. She really wanted to get the inside scoop about Destiny's Child and Beyonce and all of it, because that's really all we care about. Do we care about Mr. Knowles? I don't. Anyhow, she took a little bit of a jab at him, but um, he played it off. Anyhow, she asked if Destiny's Child would be forming a reunion anytime soon, and Mr. Knowles did not seem to know if they would ever return, and he said, don't hold your breath, I don't think it's really gonna happen. I am in charge of all of their music, I own the records, I own all of it, it's under my copyright, because I was their manager. Okay, no. I'm begging Beyonce to go and buy the music from him and just completely do away with this man who, I hate to bring it up, but they did not have the best relationship, Beyonce and Mr. Knowles. I'm saying Mr. Knowles because I really don't know his first name and I don't care to know it because he's nasty. I don't like him. Anyhow, yeah, there was a bit of a family feud, if you will, to quote Jay-Z. Um, over Mr. Knowles announcing that the twins had been born. Look, it's not a big deal. I get it. He's a proud grandparent. He's 
just happy to see more grandkids in the world. However, I would always do the courteous thing and wait for the parents to announce to the world that their children has been born and yeah, no, I don't think it was wise of him to go and tweet to the world, congratulations, Beyonce and Jay-Z, welcome to the world, Sir and Rumi. No, do away with this fool, Beyonce. You can do better. Buy it yourself. And if Mr. Knowles really knew everything that was going on, he probably would have told Be like Wendy Williams that Beyonce was getting together with Michelle and um, Kelly Rowland at Coachella. Like, <sighs> no, just get him away. I'm, I'm done with that. Anyhow, Destiny's Child is great. I hope to see them more. I want to know who you guys want to see next year at Coachella. Personally, I really want to see Dua Lipa who sings New Rules and IDGAF, which is one of my new favorite songs. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really wanna know who you guys want to perform at Coachella next year. So drop a comment below and we'll talk. Enough about Beyonce for today. We will be talking about her again, I'm sure really soon. Um, on a Coachella related note, let's talk some style tips. Coachella is basically the most fashion forward weekend of the year and everybody dresses to the nines so they can get some great Instagram pictures. My Instagram, by the way, is princeeric22, no spaces, no underscores. Please follow me. Anyhow, um, I personally like to treat every day like Coachella and I plan my outfits accordingly. That's your style tip of the day. Plan ahead. People spend months planning their Coachella outfits and it pays off. Everybody loves Coachella's style and so you gotta plan ahead. I suggest planning, if not the night before, then a few days before. Like, if you have a big event coming up, you gotta like try on your outfit to see if it's even worth wearing. Because nobody wants to like come to the last minute, they had an outfit in mind, but then they tried it on and it just didn't look right. So please do yourself a favor and try your outfits ahead of time. So you know if you have to shake things up and make a little tweak to your outfit. So today I am wearing a classic Forever 21 sweater with all of my best friends, Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie with a simple jean that I got from Forever 21. And I planned this outfit last night. I looked at the weather and I saw that it was going to be a brisk 74 degrees today in California. So I said, hmm, 74 is a decent temperature. I'm gonna pull out the sweater. And I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So fashion tip of the day, plan your outfits. It just occurred to me that I never really gave an official announcement of when I'd be posting my videos. So here it is from me, my mouth, that I would be posting a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if I don't get a chance to post, I will definitely let you know ahead of time so you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, where's Sir Jacob? He hasn't posted, is he okay? Chances are I am okay. I'm an independent gentleman and I can take care of myself but I would not be disappointed in if anybody decided to check up on me. Like, are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need a Xanax? Chances are yes, but I will be posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Again, thank you so much for coming and checking out my channel. I really would love to see you again. I have an explosive video for you on Thursday with my first ever co-star and I think it's gonna be a good time. I'm going to, well, I'm not gonna let you know yet. I'm gonna let that be a surprise, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for coming again, and that's all I have for you today, so peace and blessings over and out.